So you implant pain pumps that yes. deliver, I guess, lower dose medications mm -hmm. to the exact area where the pain is starting from. So tell me how it works. No, oh, these pumps, uh, I not only implant for pain, I implant for spasticity and also for chronic and cancer pain. Okay. Uh, these are implanted, uh, majority of the times it's implanted for back pain and leg pains. Okay. These are the people who have tra uh, tried uh, other conservative therapies, including physical therapy, medications, several injections, and these injections were helping, but not long enough. And uh, so, and also some of the people have been on long uh, term uh, high opioid doses and they have side effects from these medications. And some people, you will be surprised, they are on uh, low doses, but they can't tolerate the oral opioids. Okay. So these are the people who are candidates for this therapy. So uh, we do a trial uh, to make sure you know, they respond very well to this therapy. It's called a pump trial. And they also go through, you know, And by the way, this pump trial, because uh -huh. I think you've described it to me before. Mm -hmm. So this is like on day one or two, they're mm -hmm. there, you got the medical history, you got the imaging. You actually, what? You put inject, medication, inject inject medication into, the spinal into that fluid, little area. Into the spinal fluid straight. That's where the medication works, is going. And then it either works right away or it doesn't. It depends on the medication we inject. Okay. It's certain medications. We see the response in a uh, few minutes. In, for certain medications, we see the response in several hours. So when it works mm -hmm. through the injection, then you know you've reached what? As you call it, the pain generator. That's right. Okay. And then now? The, the way we know that it works is uh, they have to have more than 50% of pain relief. And we ask them to walk around and do the activities which usually aggravate their pain. But now if they are able to do those activities with no pain and no discomfort, now we know it's working. Even if they get 50% benefit, it's still working. So an implantable pain pump. So what's yes. that procedure like? What's it like? Where it's, do you put it? It's, it's an implantable pump. As I said, we also do for uh, spasticity, okay. which is different. Like people with cerebral palsy, spinal cord injuries, they have spasticity and contractures in the you know, upper and lower extremities sometimes with multiple sclerosis also. It's a very common condition. So when we are doing the trials for them, we use a different medication. It's not pain medication. It's called baclofen. Okay. So these are the people who cannot tolerate uh, oral baclofen, high doses, uh, because they, it causes constant drowsiness during the day. They feel sleepy and doesn't give effective uh, spasticity relief. So then we use this, uh, it's called intrathecal baclofen. We inject small dose micrograms of baclofen into the spinal fluid. And then they actually get a detailed evaluation more than the pain patient. Uh, the physical therapist actually stays with the patient all day. The injection is done in the morning and they get like eight hours of uh, evaluation, uh, evaluating uh, relief of the spasticity, uh, the relief of the spasms, and uh, also assessing their mobility throughout the day to make the decision uh, if they are the right candidate for the uh, pump for spasticity relief. So it's done for uh, uh, pain and also spasticity. Both. Okay, and these pumps, how long can they last? And can they go to work? Couple days later, after you implant it, the or pain what do you patients? recommend? Yes, uh, they can go to work depending on the work they do. If they are, if their work involves a lot of uh, heavy lifting, uh, twisting, a lot of movements, then uh, they cannot go back to work. But in if they're days. like office but, workers, yes, or they can go back to work in a couple of days. You're fine, and they're yes. up walking around right away. Absolutely, they can do better now with medication going in the spinal fluid. The advantage of uh, putting the medication right in the spinal fluid is it's targeted right to the pain pathways in the spinal cord. So if you suppose if you're giving somebody pain medication they're taking by mouth, uh, and if you do blood counts, the medication level is high. But if you're getting the medication right to the pain pathways in the spinal cord, it's, it's in micrograms or uh, you know, very low dose. Can so you, you don't see that much of it in the blood. Okay. So that's so, why so they're not sedated, they're not constipated, they don't have a lot of um, other side effects uh, compared to the oral high dose. So a pain opioids. pump is less medication. Yes. That's the advantage. An oral medication. Yes. And it yeah. also works good because you're delivering more medication to where it is needed. Like one fiftieth the amount? Even less sometimes, depending on the medication. So just small dose. The studies uh, they did, they compared morphine oral to this pain pump. One milligram going uh, into the spinal fluid straight gives the same relief as 300 milligrams. That is 300 times the dose taken by mouth. Is that right? Yes. So pain pumps are the way to go. Yes, especially now with uh, the opioid epidemic we are having and people are large doses of high opioids and all, and the, if the patients need, uh, if, you, if, if we decide that this patient is going to need pain medications for longer time in their yeah. life, 
uh, this is a better option. So this is a better delivery system of the medication. And also basically. the other advantage is you're not giving a prescription for somebody like a month supply, and then you have to worry about if they're selling this drug or if they're really taking it, you know, these kind of issues. When you put in a pump, you know, it's much less. You don't have so to worry have about other issues. So you've done hundreds of these? Yes. Okay. And uh, is this something that as an interventional pain management doctor, physician, yes. this is what you guys do? Yeah, this is all we do every day.